Hi guys, this is Pat and the message I have for you tonight is called Believing God for the Conquest. And the Bible verse is Psalm chapter 20 verse 7 and it reads, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord, our God. Um, dear Father God, I thank you so much for the many things that you teach us in your word. And we are particularly grateful that you have taught us how to fight. We are not people who shrink back and are destroyed, as it says in Hebrews 10.39. But we are people who believe and are saved. And so, Father, we have um, many enemies, um, but they're not of flesh and blood. And so you are teaching us, Lord, how to stand firm and um, taking this inheritance that you have given to us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, I pray. Amen. Hi. Um, again, my name is Pat, and... I wanted to talk to you tonight about um, how we sometimes get into a situation where God has made a promise, he has showed us what we need to do, and we don't believe him. Um, we um, come to the promised land or come to the inheritance that God has given to us, and we feel um, that is too much for us, that we cannot possibly handle it. Uh, we have a good example of how that was when we look at what happened to the Israelites. They were told that they would come to the promised land, the land that God had promised them. But when they got there, they realized that there were some people inhabiting the land. They, they knew that. Um, God had given the people who were in the land, he had given them um, a lot of chances to, to turn back from their behavior. They were ungodly people, and they had uh, many um, filthy things about them, their lifestyle, uh, but they wouldn't turn back. They were determined to defy God. And they were also determined to fight God's people. And God knew all about this. And he had made a promise to the Israelites that he would go before them. And he did. Um, he made a promise. You know, he would not leave them. He would not forsake them. Um, he would go with them. And, um, but... Um, some of the tribes believed him, but others of the tribes did not believe him. Um, they, the ones that believed him, they were victors. When they got to the place where there were um, people in the land, um, they were able to conquer them, even though the odds were against them. But the ones who did not believe him, did not believe the Lord, um, they did compromising. Uh, what they would do is that um, when they came to the enemy, instead of taking them out, they compromised and made them their slaves. And that was um, not what God wanted them to do uh, because he knew that if these people, these ungodly people, lived among his godly people, that it was only a matter of time when um, the godly ones would um, go back to old behavior, I mean flesh behavior. We all have flesh. And so if we are in the presence of flesh, um, then we will definitely be enticed even more to go into our flesh. Also, some of those enemies that they had made into slaves, they eventually 
took back the land. And so um, it's a big lesson for us to understand this. You know, that God has um, certain things that he desires for us to do. And he wants us to do it you know, for a reason. You know, he's God and we're not. He knows what needs to be done. And um, partial obedience is just another name for disobedience. And if we disobey God, uh, we don't really get the full inheritance. Uh, we don't really get the inheritance anyway. Uh, we get a reasonable facsimile. And we don't want a reasonable facsimile. We want the reward that God has for those who who um, listen to him, those who are obedient um, to him. And so we want to be those people um, who obey the Lord. So we want to learn. Um, we put our trust in the Lord. When he tells us to do, we do. And even when we see lots of horses and lots of chariots and other things in the land, um, we don't turn back because we believe the Lord. Um, he's not a liar. And he has told us that um, we can be victors. Uh, we can overcome anything that is trying to fight us. We have been saved. His spirit lives in us. We have no need to draw back. And so let me pray. Uh, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, there's no compromising with sin. We don't go back to Egypt. We don't pretend that we don't know better. We know better, and not only that, we have your spirit that lives inside of us who can help us to do all the things that you have called us to do. Father, let us not look at what is fearful, but look right into your eyes and right to your heart to know that you are a promise keeper and you will not leave us, you will not forsake us. And we can be victorious regardless of whatever we are facing. We thank you, Father, for teaching us all these things. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. So I pray that you have put your trust in the Lord, not in anything that you have done or anything that is promised to you by people, places, things. Um, God is God. And with, with him and in him, we can be overcomers. Um, that's why he died, to take away our sin, but to give us his spirit um, so that we can be strong in him. Thank you so much again for letting me share with you. I pray that you have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless you. Bye-bye.